welcome to Always Alyssa. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing today? As you know, I am an artist and I absolutely love all things art. Literally any day you can catch me doing some kind of art. It could be painting, either watercolor or acrylic. It could be sketching, or it even could be some kind of craft with like cardboard, pipe cleaners, you name it, I've done it. So I absolutely love art, but being an artist means that you can have a lot of failed projects. And let's just say I kind of have a lot of those, but sometimes they're not really a fail. It's more of like, you know, you draw it and it doesn't look that great. So you just start over and you learn from your mistakes, you know, that kind of thing. And throughout the years, I have tried to keep all of my drawings that I've ever done so I can always go back to look at them, just not only for the memories, but to learn from my mistakes and see what I could have done better and just to kind of see how much I've improved because that can help a little bit too. In today's video, I was thinking, what if I showed you guys all of my least favorite art projects, which could kind of be considered the failed ones, I guess. And then maybe I could also show you guys all of my favorite projects. Plus, I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of compare the projects at the end. Like, this is my very favorite one and it looks so good. And this is my least favorite one that doesn't look so good. So let's get started. You probably already noticed I have created two piles here. You may have even already guessed which pile is which. This is the least favorite pile maybe even the hate pile. I don't know if I would call it that. I don't know if I would go that far, <laughs> but this is definitely the favorite pile or maybe even the best pile. Either one, you can call it best, worst, favorite, least favorite, whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking that we should start with maybe, which one should we start with? I don't know, hmm. What do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards starting with my least favorite. No, maybe, <laughs> I can never make up my mind. Um. You know what? I think I'm gonna start with my favorite ones and you guys will have to wait and see what my least favorite ones are. Oh, those ones are gonna be so embarrassing. <laughs> well, starting off strong with my favorites over here. And by the way, this is in no particular order. It's just kind of favorites in general. So first up we got, oops, <laughs> I did not mean for that to be upside down. We have my pineapple. I really do love this one a lot. I love the detail on it and it's one of my most recent Prismacolor drawings. So I am very proud of this one. I really love the colors and the detail. It's definitely one of my top favorites ever. I partly drew it because I realized I've never drawn a pineapple before, even though it was like my favorite thing ever. And I also think it kind of just matches the vibe of my room, how I have so much tropical stuff back there and some pineapples. But yeah, I really love this one. My next favorite art piece has got to be this digital commerce one. Whenever I show people, they're like, oh my gosh, are you sure that's not a picture? And it's definitely one of my most realistic drawings I think I have ever done. I am so proud of it. I just love looking at it and looking at all the details. I mean, it did take me so long though. That's the only bad part. It took me forever. But when I finally got it finished, I was very proud. And let me give you sort of a closer look if you guys can see that. Next up is my queen art piece. I absolutely love this one so much. Here, let me turn my screen a little bit brighter. But as you know, I am a huge fan of the band Queen. And this one is actually a screen grab from the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. So look at that. It has the four members at Live Aid, the big concert. I really like drawing this one. But again, it did take me Lots of hours. Digital art is very time consuming. I mean, so is all kinds of art really. But anyways, I really, really love this one. I feel like it's a little bit different than most of my art pieces because most of the time I don't draw people. Like, it's very difficult, first of all. It takes a long time and I haven't actually had a ton of practice drawing people, but I am very pleased with how this one turned out. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Next up, we have my very famous big, huge dragon. I really, really love this one. I know I'm saying that about all these, but they are all my favorites. <laughs> so this is the huge silver dragon. This one is out of watercolor. If you did not know that, it is huge. So this is just a size comparison to how big this is. Like this is not the traditional size of a sketchbook. And I don't even think it's watercolor paper to be honest, <laughs> but somehow I was able to complete this. It took me a couple days at least, but I really like it. And if you notice right here, it's a cute little fox. I just thought that would be a cute little 
detail for size comparison to add to this. Super cute. Next up, we have probably my most recent Prismacolor drawing, I think, either this one or the pineapple. So this is my panda one. I actually think this one turned out very realistic, which I'm super happy about because I've never actually drawn a panda before. And I actually have a video out on my YouTube channel doing a tutorial of how to draw this. So if you wanna be able to draw this too, then go watch that video. I really do like this one. And I think it looks really good with the black frame too. I think that was a good color choice. Out of all the Prismacolor drawings that I've ever done, I feel like it's either this one or maybe the pineapple one that's my favorite of all time. This is the Rainbow Holographic Boot. I really love holographic things. For some reason, they are, they're kind of like tricky and interesting to draw, but I really love how the end products turn out. Just like super rainbow and silver and glimmery. Just so pretty. And I love color, so I thought this one was super fun to draw. And it has a great, great contrast with the black here. Like, I just thought that was super cool because it's like super dark black and then like bright rainbows. And plus it looks good with the black frame. My next couple on the favorites list are also digital. This one is a little frog that I did. I really love it. It actually looks really cute because I've actually never really drawn a frog before. I don't know why, but I thought the little tree frogs are pretty cute and I wanted to draw it on this leaf which I thought was adorable, and it turned out pretty good. Another thing I really like about this one is kind of like the perspective of the picture. It's almost like the camera is focusing on the frog and some of the raindrops in front of it, but the rest is just a little bit more blurry. This next one is also an animal that's digital. You got this cheetah here. I really, really love the eyes. I think they are super pretty. And I think from a distance, especially, this one looks super realistic. I have to admit though, I did struggle a little bit on the fur for this one because you, if you're an artist, you probably know that just drawing fur in general is really difficult. So this one did take me a while. The next ones that are definitely on my favorite list, it's actually a couple, but I'm kind of just counting this as one because it's all the same type of art. And you guys have probably seen these ones before, but it's all of my Marvel pieces, which you know me, I'm a huge Marvel fan. So I decided to draw some of the characters. First we got Black Widow. And also all of these took me anywhere from four to 10 hours. So a very long time, but I would say it's worth it. Also, by the way, I've been working on another one of those Marvel characters, <sighs> but I have to admit, Probably gonna take me a while just because I've been procrastinating a little bit. Okay, fine. I've been procrastinating a lot and I've also been so busy. I have not been able to do that much digital art lately, sadly enough, but at least I have the beginning sketch down. So that's good. But yeah, once it's done, I'll have to let you guys know. This next one is very big. I had to go over here to grab it. Probably like the biggest one I've ever done. I don't know if I've actually shown you guys this yet. Maybe I have, I, maybe I haven't, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know exactly what you'll be expecting when you see the back of this canvas, but it's probably gonna be a little bit different than you expected <laughs> because there's no paint at all. There is no paint on this entire canvas. So now you're probably wondering, what is it? Well, I guess you're about to find out. Look at that, check it out. This is what I call my queen board, I suppose you could say. It's, well, of course the band Queen, my favorite band in the world, but it also has Scrabble tiles, um, just random paper scraps, a little bit of marker, a little bit of glue, and a few stickers. I think that's about it actually. Just super random stuff. And it also has all the songs, like it's got Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, all the big hits like, don't stop me now, somebody to love, killer queen, we will rock you. So yes, we got all of that. And then of course there's the famous queen guitar, the little music symbol, and the microphone, which I hand drew. I hand drew the guitar too, actually. And then a little um, vinyl record up there with a crown. It's like a shiny crown, which is so cool. And then little drumsticks down here, so cute. And then of course the huge gold queen letters. I absolutely love this one because I feel like it is so DIY. Like it was almost easier than painting something like this because paint is like kind of messy, but this was really fun to make. Now, obviously I have more art pieces that I really like, but there's more than 10. So I just had to pick my very favorite. But anyways, now it's time to move on to 
the least favorites. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared about this because some of these are gonna be really embarrassing to show you guys because they're so bad. Ugh. I'm already starting to regret this. Well, let's take a look here. This is a little scary already. Okay, we're gonna start off with this one because it's not too embarrassing for me, only a little. So this is a parrot, as you can see, obviously. But there's definitely a couple of issues with it. Like some of the feathers look fine, but like overall, I didn't really have that great of a reference when I was painting. Actually, I think I had no reference when I was painting this. And it was in, I think we were in Sedona and we were at a hotel. They had like an art thing that you could go to. So I did this, but there wasn't really a teacher. So anyways, yeah, I painted this, but the eye is totally in the wrong place. The beak is kind of the wrong shape and just some of the proportions are off. So that just really makes me not like this one. Next up we have, let's see, what is this? Oh yeah. <laughs> So this one is just a little pencil sketch that I did. It is a fennec fox, but the problem is the nose and the face and eyes proportions are like super, super off. So that is why I do not like this one. Like if the face looked better, it would be a fine sketch, but it's not. So I do not like that one. Next, we have this little watercolor pony. And when you first see it, you might be like, oh, that's cute. But for me, just like some of the color choices I don't know. It just almost looks strange. Like it looks like I kind of try to give it a realistic shape of face, but then super cartoony colors. Like it just really doesn't match and it's just kind of random. I don't know. I just do not like that one either. Here we have this polar bear that I did in art class. First things first, I'm not really sure why the top part of the page is here, but the bottom is completely cut off. I have no idea why. Anyway, this was in 2017. That is crazy because that's like bunch of years ago. I was so much younger then. Anyways, my main problem with this one is like, it still has the pencil marks kind of, and there's no background at all. But also like, there's not really any white. It's just mostly blue, which how is it a polar bear then if it's not white, you know what I mean? I mean, sure, I know I was younger, but still, maybe plain was the word I was looking for. Anyways, um, another watercolor one. I guess these ones kind of go together for this part. These are just watercolor jellyfishes. Or wait, hold on. Would the plural be jelly? No, I think the plural is jellyfish. I think. I don't know. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Anyways, so I got these two right here. And I don't know. This one is, first of all, just so unrealistic. I mean, I could kind of see what I was doing with it, but at the same time, it's very unrealistic. And then this one, like this little thing, I don't know what that's called on a jellyfish, but it does not even look like that. So that is just super uncorrect. And just like the whole shape of it is really messed up, especially the top. Another thing about this one is the water is so incredibly light. Like, first of all, jellyfish swim like super deep in the ocean, I'm pretty sure. At least most of the time, like the big ones. And so the ocean would be way darker than that. <laughs> This next one we have, oh man, I would never display this because I'm just embarrassed about it. It's like, <sighs> well, okay, this, I'll, I will admit, like the sky is kind of nice, just these two colors do not mix well and they did not blend very good either. Like something about the, my color choices up here, they're not really in the right order. Something about them is just a little bit off. I mean, the moon is kind of okay and the stars, but like the dandelions, they just look like they're... Like there's no ground, there's no grass. They just look like they're kind of floating in midair. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There's just a couple things wrong about this that I really do not like. This one I created when I was 13 in Hawaii. I specifically remember that because this entire sketchbook is from Hawaii. It is a German Shepherd. Um, I mean, the shapes are kind of okay, but the problem for me is the face. Like from far away, it actually just looks like it is wearing a literal black mask, which is like super weird to me. I just really did not get the colors right on this one. Next, oh my gosh. <sighs> this one is pretty embarrassing, I guess you could say. First of all, it's literally on a pink paper <laughs> in like a binder with a little thing. Anyways. This one is, oh my gosh, this one is Owen, like when he was a baby. But the problem is like, there's definitely a lot of mistakes to this. <laughs> I don't know. I've never even like shown this to anyone before. Like, 
I mean, maybe it was okay for my age, but now looking at it, it's just, oh no, no. <laughs> Another one on a pink paper, actually. This one is um, my aunt's dog. I don't know why I decided to draw her, but like all the proportions are super off. And the background is sort of okay. I mean, I guess it sort of looks like nature, but again, it's on a pink paper. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I redid this one for my aunt's birthday like a year or two ago. Maybe it was Christmas, I don't even know. But it looks a lot better now than here. <laughs> this next one, I'm gonna admit, it's not like horrible or anything. I just really don't like it for a couple of reasons. So I did this um, series on my TikTok account where I drew um, some dragons based off of fruits, like a lime dragon, an orange dragon, a strawberry dragon, which was like kind of a trend for a while, strawberry animals, you probably remember that. Anyway, so I eventually did a grapefruit dragon, which at first glance, it probably like, oh, that's sort of cute. But I don't know, something about like how I drew the arms and legs and face really bothers me like they just do not look good i don't know what it is maybe it's just me maybe not i don't know but something about it is just not good i mean the colors are fine and, and there's some parts that look kind of cute like the tail but just overall this is a no for me while i'm at it though i kind of do want to show you guys the other fruit themed dragons i drew because some of them did turn out pretty cute but then some of them were also not very good okay here's the first one the strawberry dragon one of my personal favorites I actually think it turned out super cute. And then we have the pineapple dragon. Not really my favorite, but it's not horrible either. Next is the lime dragon. I could have done it a little better, but like the overall design of it is pretty good. Just could have been drawn a little bit better. Then we have this cute little kiwi dragon. Looks like a little baby, I like that one. I like the colors too. Oh, then the grapefruit one. And then this little blueberry dragon. Um, there's a couple things that are off about it, but like, it's an okay design. There's a bunch of these. Next is this orange one. I actually like this one a lot. This one looks super cute, very cartoony, but I like the like little um, things up here. They were inspired by a lizard. And then we've got mango. I do like the wings on this one. They're very pretty. Next one is this little raspberry dragon. Of course, again, something could be better, but it's also not the worst. Then we got, I think there's at least one or two more. Oh, this one is not my favorite. I do not like this one very much. It's um, dragon fruit, actually. I could have designed it so much better. Anyways, I think there's one more. The last one, I also do not like this one very much. It's a coconut dragon. Could have definitely been better. But like, I do like how it's on the rock. That is sort of cool. I have to say, let's just take a minute to appreciate the improvement. So this one is now obviously and this one is back then <laughs> as far as this one wow that is actually insane polar bear and panda so they're both bears but just take a look like that is actually crazy that is improvement right there Ooh, actually i think i have a parrot i can compare this to this is the recent one well the more recent one i think i did this one in 2022 maybe and then this one was actually probably the same year just for some reason it is like way worse so we have this one and that one well that concludes my list of my very least favorite and very favorite art pieces oh man that was kind of crazy um definitely tell me in the comments what your favorite was out of my favorites pile and what your favorite was out of the least favorites or just in general which one you thought was the worst because some of those were, well, better than others, but yeah, it was kind of crazy. Anyways, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys liked the video and if you want more of this kind of stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!